Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to put together a quick little rack mount to put my essential rack mount gear in because I need to use it now. I got a band coming in a few days to start recording uh, and I'm not prepared because when I moved out of my old studio I just threw away or freaking sold half of the furniture and the bigger items. I didn't want to pay to store it for who knows how long at the time. Uh, and I got a house now. I'm starting to, you know, got my little home studio going. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make a nice little rack just to put my stuff in out of wood for like 10 bucks out of some one by 12 pine boards that I got at a Menards. So it costs basically nothing. They were 10 foot boards, a 10 foot one will build like two of these and they were on sale for like 10 bucks a piece. So, hey, why not? I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on some, some of this crap yet because I do wanna build this stuff nice eventually. I do wanna build some nice, nice stuff. But right now I need something, let me show you. So like I was saying, I got these 1x12 pine boards, and really I just cut them to size. The actual rack is 19 inches wide inside, but you got to add an inch and a half because each board is 3 quarters. So basically 20 and a half wide is you're going to be your overall width is what you want to make it if you're using 3 quarter inch thick material. So I cut two a top and bottom board that were 20 and a half wide, and then I think my two ones I put in the middle, I made like 16. Just picked a random number because I didn't want this to be too big and too tall and, and, and uh, interfere with my monitors because I was going to set it kind of close to my monitoring position but just need a little rack like I said for now to put my stuff in and what I'm going to do I'm gonna, after I got the pieces cut out I got my 16 gauge nailing gun now if you don't have a brad nailer like this you could use some screws or even some brackets they make those little corner brackets there's a lot of ways to fasten uh, fasten some boards together and if I was really making these really nice I would put a dado joint on these edges and probably even clamp them together instead of nail them so you wouldn't see any holes or anything so I would do maybe even a finger joint or, or a, a, a dovetail or something really cool and nice and I, I might do that in the future when I uh, build some real nice studio stuff but for now like I said I need these things some brad nail them together real fast So how about with the strength a little bit, I put a little bead of uh, wood glue. Now this is Tight Bond 2 type wood glue. That's definitely my favorite type of wood glue. They got the regular Tight Bond, like the original. That's fine too. Then they got the Tight Bond 2, which is my preference. They got the Tight Bond 3, which is supposed to be like a waterproof glue. Not a big fan of that one because honestly it's, it's really runny. I never really liked that one. The 2 is where it's at. And I mean, pretty much these boxes are getting put together in no time at all here. Kind of kept it a secret, but I'm also putting together a, a little computer box down here. I can set my computer in. Might put a little shelf on it. And also hold my, uh, my rack mount stuff up a little bit higher. I had a piece of 1x4 pine board sitting around and I used it to cut out some uh, little triangles here to, for corner reinforcement on these boxes just to make them a little stronger. One of the things to keep in mind here is just how cheap I'm building these for. Dirt, dirt cheap. 10, 15 bucks. So I got all the corner reinforcement pieces nailed and glued in and I just need some to secure my rack mount gear too and screw it too. That's what these pieces are going to be for. Basically, put a bunch of nails in these. Uh, I recessed them in a little bit so the buttons and stuff aren't sticking out the front. I'm on my rack gear. Alright guys, got this little rack popped together here, gonna be able to put this to use, you can see, gonna be able to record a band now, got my stuff, made this little bottom one too, got my PC in here, and 
a little spot in the bottom where a bunch of junky cables can go and be tangled up and all that nonsense. So if you need yourself a quick solution for some rack space, this is what you gotta do right here. Pop together some boards and call it a rack. Call it a rack. And this room was feeling a little crappy to me, so I put up a picture of a nice room.